Dave Rothschild, film photographer from Virginia. And this video is about my experiences and my results with my first roll of film that I shot through my Mamiya 645 1000S. I must say up front that I love the camera. I shot a roll of expired Portra VC 160, and here are the results. The first image of this tree and plastic bag were me just getting used to the camera and shooting it without a meter at sunny 16, and the film was rated at ISO 50 for the expiration date. Here I got to really use the 80 millimeter 2.8 that came with the camera and as you can see, it focused beautifully. Seeing the results of this old book on this generator and how sharp I was able to get it, I, I believe I shot it at F4, maybe F2.8, gets me really excited to use this camera for portraiture. Next up we have a few plastic bags, ups in the treetops and for this particular shot, I was really struck by the scene when I drove by it, but the angle that I saw it out of my car window looked really good, but I was never able to get that same angle uh, with this particular lens because it was just too far away and the lens wasn't long enough to get the angle that I needed. The first one I underexposed, but this one looks a little bit better. This next shot is from down below those same trees, and I really love the tones of the expired Portra VC here. And you can see the accent of the orange in the upper right. And I must say that uh, I, I look forward to shooting with this film again because I don't normally love fading films, but this one looks good faded. And here we have kind of a sewer area next to a bridge, and I just like the way these dead grasses were hanging down creating some shadows and again I was just kind of testing out the focusing of the camera and it got pretty sharp. This is probably the most original image from the roll of film. It's underneath an underpass and I really like how it shows the jagged landscape with the trees, the vines, and just a little bit of the shadow of the bridge in the right side of the frame. So I like that one a lot. Here we have these three telephone poles and I was trying to get rid of the fence chain as you can kind of see the shadow of it but I wasn't able to do that through the waist level viewfinder in the first shot. So I moved to a different location and found a better angle where the fence wasn't in the way. And I really like how the lines of the power lines lead you to the building in the distance. Next up, we have this owl sitting on a branch in the right side of the frame. And if you zoom in, if you actually had the file yourself, you'd see how sharp the owl is and it makes me super excited to shoot more medium format. You can see that I definitely underexposed the film though. Probably my favorite image from the roll, the landscape itself is something that really intrigues me. I love the tree leading to the marshland on the left side of the frame and all the different textures from the old tree on the right side of the frame. And I must say the tones in this image are my favorite from the entire roll. Again, as said before, I'm excited to shoot that type of film again. A little bit overexposed here, I was shooting a plastic cup in the foreground against these non-native vines creating a scene of chaos and I kind of do this a lot it's definitely something you see more and more in landscape photography here we have probably one of my other favorite images from the roll uh, you've got a fence you've got this chaotic landscape of trees kind of interwoven together and it's a little bit overexposed I was shooting the roll sunny 16 as I said before and just a Baptist church in Alexandria, Virginia. I've been past this church many times and I really like the red brick and the shape of that cross. And I uh, feel pretty good about this exposure, uh, shooting the entire roll of film, just kind of guessing with the light meter because there is no meter inside the camera. And this is the last shot from the roll. And as you can see, the film was exposed probably while they're putting it on the reel of the developer at the local camera store. A little bit disappointing there, but overall, I am super, super happy with this camera after shooting just one roll, and I look forward to shooting more. So that's going to be all for now. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments down below, and I definitely will do some more videos like this in the future talking about some of my 35 millimeter film, kind of like talking about contact sheets and just what I was thinking overall, because I think it's important as photographers, we kind of show a little bit more about our process and share a little bit more, talk a little bit less about the gear and kind of go behind the curtain a little bit and see what we're thinking. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.